Sweeties, I'm Sciencey Sadie, your host of the Never Ending Cosmos, the show where we celebrate our love of cosmos by dreaming cosmos. Hipsters like neutrinos before they arrive. I'd tell you my neutrino joke, but it'd probably go straight through you. Uh, your boyfriend is like a neutrino because he's known for being small and weakly interacting. This week, we're asking a friend a question, do neutrinos go faster than light? FTL, OMG, anyone who claims to be science knows that stuff can't go past the speed of light. Says who? Says mother effing Einstein, that's who. And like, not only did he say it, but it's true. And not only is it true because he said it, but because it's been like confirmed experimentally over and over by scientists everywhere, like since forever. For realsies. So last September, when these Italian opera people clocked their neutrinos arriving 60 nanoseconds earlier than the speed of light is supposed to let them, the physics world cried a collective WTF. Because the speed of light is like a law. And not like a traffic law, which are more like guidelines. You can't break this law. So it's not like the speed of light police is taking a nap, then whoosh, holy crap, was that a neutrino speeding? No. But everyone's excitement was brought down by the recent finding that the whole thing was probably a tech error. A problem with a loose cable. Total bummer. This cable? For serious? Don't they know the three laws of electronics? One, is it plugged in? Two, is it turned on? And three, did you try turning it on and off again? Asimov wrote these himself, people. Speaking of Einstein, it's time for a brand new segment called Albert Einstein, Wrong or Not? viewers like you. Uh, no, not you. The one beh- yeah, you. You. This week, YouTube user Absolute Magnitude writes, Correction, Galileo wasn't the first to postulate the rotation of the Earth, nor was, contrary to popular belief, Copernicus. It is thought that Heraclides of Pontus may have been the first to suggest that the Earth rotates upon an axis. Your friendly neighborhood astronomer. Dear Absolute Magnitude, I totally didn't say Galileo was the first. But it was totally the dude who first observed Jupiter's moons orbiting Jupiter and was the first one to like think, hey, I should point this new telescope thingy towards the heavens instead of just into my neighbor's apartment. I throw my hands up in the air sometimes, saying, hey, gotta let go. Next up, Twitter user Flora Subspecies writes, Do you drink all those Cosmos because cranberry juice is a superfood? Dr. Oz says it fights heart disease and prevents ulcers. Thanks, Flora subspecies. Don't even get me started on Dr. F Oz. Superfoods? F that. And stop wearing scrubs on daytime TV, okay? Oh, what? Is your credibility as a reputable physician so weak that it must be communicated through your fashion choice? Ugh. Hi everyone! 
I'm Sarah Mayhew, creator of the NeverEnding Cosmos with Sciency Sadie. Please make sure to follow both me and Sciency Sadie on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can find all the links below. If you'd like Sciency Sadie to read your viewer mail, please leave it in the comments in the channel or in one of the videos. You can also send your questions, comments, or suggest a story for Sciency Sadie um, through Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Also, I'd like to draw everyone's attention to the latest issue of Skeptical Inquirer, which features artwork um, by myself on the cover, as well as a featured article on the inside. So, please do check that out, and thanks everyone for watching. See you next week.